Thank you. I think this is one of the great river crossings. I do, I really do. Privilege to come across here. Real privilege. Blue. Okay. That sounds all right. Thank you very much. Just enjoy the vibe and the ambience. So yes, we are still on track. 33 minutes, 6.9 miles. It won't take that long once we get across the river. There are various mussel beds, oyster fisheries and things like that. Three pound single, five pound day return. That's not bad, is it? And the ferry itself has been running for hundreds of years, maybe not even thousands. But of course it's only in recent times that it's been motorised. Unfortunately, you missed the approach from the uh, ferry as the battery ran out, so I had to change that. Nowhere I could stop. Went off just as the ferry arrived at the landing. Never mind. We're on an open road. The sun's shining. That's just under six miles to Varian from here. That's the end point for today. Where are we going after that? We're on the Roseland Peninsula, which relatively untouristy by Cornish standards. Yes, those in the know do come here. And there are some very exclusive places which I shall introduce you to another time. But both sides of this uh, peninsula are very, very worth uh, exploring. a mile to the next turning on the 3078 which is the main road down the peninsula so in a way I'll be turning back towards home then not only do you not need to go fast it's positively dangerous to try it's, although there's not much traffic at the moment when it's busy it's very very busy and that ferry makes it sort of intermittent you know, streams of traffic Flags of St George here. You know what I mean? There's people in a hurry to get to the ferry quick as possible. Again, very, very well to do houses. Well, on the right, <laughs> on the left, they just look like normal houses. Even so, they're probably still desirable to live here. And just here, we're turning on to the 3078. So of course on this peninsula, St Justin Roseland Church, we got, do have one or two pictures of that, I'll pop them up as well. Just a great place to visit and uh, probably slightly more chilled than um, the north coast. But if you're a biker, there's one or two nice roads to ride, just at sensible speeds. Not to hell for leather. And what beautiful riding country. Oh my word. Not really to be approached gung-ho though. You only got to take it steady. Enjoy the scenery. The vibe. There's another nice destination and St Anthony Head. I do have some photos of St Anthony Head and they are for sale on my website. And here we are, not far away now. House buildings and land, totaling 8.41 acres. Around here, that will amount to a sizable chunk of money. 
which of course nobody local can afford, only people with uh, hereditary money and or Londoners can afford to buy it up and that's the concern that locals and regular people have, you can't, you know, great place to, to live if you've got the money. Another route to the King Harry Ferry, probably could have, uh, that's probably the turning I missed which made it a longer journey. What's wrong with that? I think we can go past this time. Not long now. Uh, and here we come. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That really helps the channel along. We're pushing 1,000 subscribers now. May even be over that by the time we watch this. Yeah, actually, we will be able to get past there. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you are getting the twisties this time. Melonsy Mill, Cornwall, Arts and Crafts. Look at that water wheel. Awesome. Point seven miles. Point seven very windy miles. Fortunately, that driver had the common sense to reverse. Some tourists don't. I don't know whether they're local or not. But glorious, just simply glorious. And here we are at Berrium. Now here we go. Round houses ahead. Nozzle back the other way. Tourists on bicycles. Marveloso. See if we can stop and get a photo. And then turn around. So, the famous round houses of Berrien. I think they are holiday lets now. Absolutely iconic and unique. And uh, if you go to roundhousecornwall.co.uk, You'll be able to stay here. What a fantastic place. So those were the famous round houses of Berrien. Hope you enjoyed that ride from Lana over the King Harry Ferry through to the quaint historic village of Berrien. A little bit off the beaten track, down some amazing roads, scenery. What more do you want? Great for biking as long as you're prepared to accept that this is not speeding country, this is meandering country. Plenty to see, take your time, enjoy everything this place has to offer. My name's been Andy Brown, or Captain Clumsy from Cornish Motorcycle Diaries. Hope you enjoyed coming along with me on this trip. Where are we going next? Well, please come with me and find out.